Hi everyone. So today what we're gonna do is uh, change a section of siding for this house. Um, I'm only gonna do a little part here. Thank God there's a break right there. Um, the reason why I don't wanna go any further is because they have all the uh, electrical wiring and I don't wanna move all that stuff out of the way, okay? So I do have some extra siding uh, that was part of the house until they did some remodeling. And so, which is good because it actually aged. So I'm not putting something that's brand new uh, and faded. I'm putting something that's old and faded. <laughs> so um, let's get started, okay? When they were installing the generator, um, they were pounding down this, um, the grounding rod. And unfortunately, the, um, the head of the sledgehammer actually broke and hit this thing, okay? So initially they said they were gonna replace it, but I really just wanted them to do the generator at the time, which now finally works. And um, this and this all happened like during the winter time. So they were installing sometime in January where it was nice and cold and snowing. So um, what I did was I actually just put some black tape here because it cracked through and I didn't want any of the water going in and riding out the uh, wood on the other side. Okay, so I just want to show you what it is. First, take out this tape. Just so you have an idea. So it was actually all broken through and everything. And now, to remove the siding, um, there is actually this tool. You can see it as like a little, where's the camera, right? That little edge right there. And basically what it does, it actually grips underneath and then you can actually kind of just slide it through and uh, unhook this part from this part here. Now, fortunately, this is already <laughs> this is already broken here. So, I mean, you can actually just kind of just use your fingers. There, okay. And just slide it through. Okay. okay, so now that the bottom's unhooked, you definitely want to unhook this part because this is where you're going to nail this part down. Okay, so the best place to go is actually right by the seam. And then what you do is slide it through and pull down. Okay, so now that most of it's a little bit loosened, what I want to do is get um, a straight edge. Um, I found this uh, that was readily available for me. Um, and right where the crack is, I'm just gonna go a little bit past that, okay? So with the blade, what I wanna do is just actually just slice down. Okay, so I'm just continuing my cut. Not really the straightest cut, but I'm sure I can try to fix it afterwards. All right, next thing to do is remove the nails that is underneath. Now this board I'm gonna replace, so I don't care if it breaks. You can see that underneath, it's kind of hard to tell. Just put a nail over there, just one over here. That's it, so I'm gonna put two nails down and that's really all I need to remove. All right. So I'm able to remove this, which is good. Um, so this is not really a straight cut, okay? But this is not gonna be um, used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna straighten up this part right here. And we'll see. Okay. So there you are. I actually started cutting it. You can tell how lousy my cut was. But then again, using this blade, you really have to keep on going over and over, not trying not to force it through because you don't want to damage um, anything behind it. And then on top of that, wait a second. Shouldn't there be plastic on this thing? Oh, Jesus. All right, I'll 
guess I'll just work with this right now. At least get the cover up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I bet you the whole house is like this. It took some shortcuts. Yeah, there's no, there's no plastic coating underneath this either. There's no wrap. All right. Oh, gosh. So again, with the blade, just kind of want to go up and down, just score it. Once it's scored, just follow your line through, making sure you don't cut yourself. This is pretty much through already. So this is the old um, siding from another part of the house, which is great because it already has a cut over here. Um, if you measure it from here to there, it's about an inch and a half, okay? So actually I'm gonna make my cut a little bit longer, just have a good overlap. Another way to do it too is to get in your old piece that you just took off. Keep in mind, I did take a little bit extra off, but obviously I'm gonna go past that. Line it all up, okay? And then measure like another, if it's an inch and a half over there, I'll just follow the same pattern. It'll be an inch and a half over here with my straight edge. Draw my line, okay? I'm just gonna slowly just ride the blade through. And this one, you just have to go through like several passes instead of just doing one solid cut and just keep going back and forth. Okay, once you make, once you finish your cut, I'm actually gonna mimic this side onto this side, okay? This side over here, okay? There's also a little notch that they make, so it actually about going with each other. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So this is about an inch and a half. And then again, we know about this. This is about an inch and a half as well, okay? And then over here, another inch and a half. So again, with your tin snips, just kinda of wanna cut it right to your mark. And then with the blade, just want to follow along down that cut you just made. Okay, you want to do that. There you go. Okay, so it's the same on both sides. All right. So the same thing will be as taking it out, it's just the reverse. This is actually going to go over here. when you nail it in. Okay, so it's kind of hard because they're all attached. I need a little space, so I'm just gonna use my cup. <laughs> so now there's overlap of an inch and a half on both sides over here. This is overlapping, okay? And again, nailing it down between the groove. in fairly straight so <laughs> it's not all the way through there you go all right perfect 
Now, you can this can probably use another nail, I'm, but it's getting dark right now, so I'm just gonna close up shop. So, after that's done, again with this tool, start on one end, right where it is, if you wanna pull down, and then try to interlock it underneath. That way it grabs. There we go. You can also visualize inside. Make sure it's going in. So you gotta pull down and then push forward. There you go. It did require a little bit of work to kind of finagle everything in. Um, but there is the that piece to that piece. Okay, and everything is already interlocked. So, okay. Uh, again, I'm just likely gonna put another nail, but it is getting dark and everything. and Gotta cook dinner. <laughs> so, a little bit better than having a black tape there. Okay, so, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps, or maybe it didn't. <laughs> All right, see you in the next one.